Hello, my lovelies. We're going to be talking about one of my favorite topics. I am so excited to be here. My name is Stephanie Classy. I am your GoPeer esthetician. And today we are going to be talking about Beauty Besties, Perfect Pairs, our favorite ingredients and products that just help take your skincare routine to the next level. Um, when you hop on, say hello. Let me know where you are watching from. I'm gonna, again, I always pull this up on two devices so I can see comments. Um, Giddy Ann is on, hey. Um, I love how many places we get viewers from. So make sure you let me know where you are watching from. And as always, like and comment and share. This is fun because I go live weekly pretty much in our VIP group. So GoPure has a VIP group that you can join and I go live like this all the time, but it's a private group. But now we're on the main GoPure page today and you can actually share this live with your friends too. Hi, Anne. Hi, Leanne. Um, welcome, welcome. Who's excited to learn about Beauty Besties, favorite product pairings, Alexis is on, Megan's on, welcome, welcome. Let me know if you're in our VIP group. Let me know if you've seen one of my lives before or a live from GoPure, Laura is on. And remember, like and comment and share because we are giving away, and I'm gonna, spoiler alert, we have one ultimate beauty bestie that kind of pairs with everything and that is the niacinamide booster and we're going to be giving this away today so who wants to win the niacinamide booster and we're also doing um, a giveaway for replay watchers because we know not everybody can watch this live and so we have decided to also offer um, a giveaway to a replay watcher so if you're watching on replay make sure you let us know too and what's fun about that is that for all of you watching live or on replay you can still share this um, and like and comment for a chance to win but when you share it the people you share it with have a chance to win too so it just like makes it so much easier and better um, for everybody to watch and comment. Yeah, Leanne, the nice and my booster is amazing. Barbara is joining us from El Dorado Hills, California. Um, Nancy, yes, we love that you've ordered two sets of this. I love seeing names too that I've seen before. It's so much fun for me to get to know you all. Um, and here at GoPure, we are committed to you know, cleaner beauty and better results and really just taking your skincare and your results to the next level. Having products that are packed with clean clinical ingredients and powerful botanicals, but not including all of those things we don't want. We don't have parabens or formaldehyde, dyes, artificial fragrances, none of that yucky stuff. We don't want any of that. Just amazing skincare packed with potent ingredients. And today we get to talk about my favorite product pairs and ingredient pairs. So let's talk about why that's cool because when you have a thoughtful skincare routine and you pair specific products together, you actually can get exponential results, which is really amazing. Hi, Judy, welcome. But one thing we do here at Go Pure is that when we formulate a skincare product, we have that in mind. So we do have that in mind. So I'm gonna talk about ingredient pairs that make individual products special, but also products that when you combine them make a really cool combination too, because we want to target our concerns in an efficient way, right? Um, and there's a lot of products out there and we just want to make it not confusing and more fun. So who's ready for this and who's, who's going to like and comment and share for a chance to win. So let me know if you want your chance to win because, um, we're gonna be giving away, again, this nice niacinamide booster to those of you live that are commenting and sharing, share, 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 um, and also to a replay watcher who participates also. So this is so fun. Jill's ready, Tracy's on, we're ready to go. And if you've, if you've never seen me live before, I get very excited. I'm a very excited esthetician. <laughs> and I just love making this fun. Barbara wants to win and we love that. So no matter your skin concern, there's going to be an ideal combination. Like one product is going to target something specific, right? One ingredient is going to target something specific. But when we put those things together, we can actually, you know, exponentially get better results. So I thought, first of all, drop in the comments a couple of your main skin concerns because I have to tell you something. 
I love this topic so much. I have a lot of information and we only have so much time. And so drop in the comments some of your number one concerns because I, this might be like a multiple part series, but I want to talk about what you want to hear about, right? So skin type, skin concerns, all of those things, because I want to make sure I can try and get those covered for those of you on live today. And so, I mean, my list just keeps growing and growing and growing. I'm like, oh, these are great together. Oh, these are great together. And I have so much to share. Um, so I see pores, I see lines and wrinkles. I see dry skin. Loretta wants to add niacinamide to your routine. Barbara wants to learn about fine lines. Acne, uh, Kim is acne and breakouts. Yes, these are all great, great suggestions. Leanne, red blotches on my lower cheeks. That is a great suggestion. Um, this, yes, oh my gosh, okay, good. This is great. Laura is redness. Um, Laura, mature skin with occasional breakouts. Okay, great, 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 great. All right, yay. Now, I wanna start by talking about um, some besties, some ingredients and products that kind of pair with everything. They're everyone's best friend. Um, they're very likable in our routine. They work with other products and ingredients because we all know that there's lots of rules. You know, you can't mix, you know, glycolic acid and retinol at the same time. And, you know, we want to use certain products in day or night, but we want, today we're going to talk about the stuff you do want to pair. And I wanted to start with the ingredients and products that just go with everything. So drop some hearts and let me know if that sounds good because yes, Lynn, you do need the niacinamide. I'm not lying. The niacinamide is so amazing and it just leaves you glowy and it's barrier supportive. And I could talk about the niacinamide booster forever and ever. And that's why we're giving it away today because it's so good. And no matter your skin type, skin concern, what products you use, it will pair, it will work day and night. It's the most easy to use and integrate product. It's so good. It's so good. Um, Wendy, we love to hear that this is your favorite brand. It is. It's game changer because it's the quality and the price and all that. All right. I'll get, let me get into it. Okay. So what do you think besides niacinamide? Cause niacinamide is kind of the ultimate bestie, but I have a couple others that I'm putting in here that do pair well. I'm going to talk about how they work together. So yes, one ingredient that pairs with everything is the ultimate bestie is niacinamide because it is barrier supportive. Um, it is generally non-irritating unless someone literally has a specific allergy to vitamin B3 because that's what niacinamide is. Niacinamide is vitamin B3 and B vitamins are very important because we don't um, create them naturally. So that's why we need to get them in our diet. They can be applied topically. Um, they are really, really important for like our cells, basically. <laughs> An easy way to say it, just like how it works in the world of nutrition. But um, it pairs so well because unless you're specifically allergic to vitamin B3, which is rare, you want it and you need it. Um, but a couple other ones are hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is a humectant. It holds a thousand times its weight in water. It helps boost hydration. It is amazing. Hyaluronic acid... Um, just helps keep our skin hydrated and looking plump and amazing, right? Um, and it's, again, it's gonna be non-irritating and it pairs with our other products and ingredients really well. And the third that is kind of my ultimate bestie that you will find a lot is vitamin E. Now, vitamin E is also, so this is the Hydrate and Smooth Serum and it is kind of that one-two punch of hyaluronic acid and vitamin E. Now, our skin naturally makes hyaluronic acid and vitamin E. They are very abundant in the skin. So hyaluronic acid is in our dermal layer and it fills the spaces between the collagen essentially and helps keep skin hydrated and plump looking. Um, but as we age, we make less of it. And so being able to apply it can be amazing in those superficial layers, right? Now, vitamin E is the most abundant vitamin in our skin, and it is oil loving and amazing and soothing and smoothing. And as we age, we also have a harder time making it. And so that is why products that include those can help keep the skin hydrated and soothed and smooth. But I want to talk about why these together in this trio of hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, and niacinamide are kind of the ultimate bestie because we're talking about besties together. So that's what they do individually. So why together? 
does that matter? And I love seeing you all liking and commenting and sharing. There's so many comments too. Yeah, tag your friends. I love you. Yeah, tag your friends, hit the share, all of the things. Um, and we are going to be choosing winners. So why they work so well together is our skin's main, one of our skin's main jobs, and I say this every single live all of the time, is that our skin's, one of our skin's main jobs, it's our largest organ, is to keep the good stuff in and keep the bad stuff out, right? Well, the good stuff we wanna keep in generally is water. We wanna prevent what is called transepidermal water loss. It's a long string of words. It's abbreviated T-E-W-L. Um, and our barrier, our lipid barrier, is what works to keep all of that in. And it's comprised of ceramides and fatty acids. Um, and so when you use products like niacinamide and vitamin E that support that barrier, and then you add in that hyaluronic acid that helps hold on to that water, these work together to make sure we have that water locked in place with the hyaluronic acid and then seal it in and have a strong barrier to really hold that in. And that's why it's an amazing combination, right? So who has questions about that? Any questions? So this is kind of that vitamin E and niacinamide are barrier supportive and that hyaluronic acid holds onto that water. So it, they really work to support the main thing that your skin wants to do, which is hold in water and have a healthy barrier and be hydrated. Um, so who has questions about that? I want to see questions. Questions, questions. And if we don't, we can. I can keep moving um, through this. So that's all good too. Hi, Linda, welcome. Oh, which do you put on first? <gasps> Yay, I love that question. This is why I need you all to participate because you guys ask me questions about things. Oh, congratulations, Becky Blair. Becky Blair is our first winner of the niacinamide serum. Okay, order, 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 order. This is why I need you all. I need you all here because you ask the questions that I need so I know what information you want. That is the perfect question. So I have, there are a lot of things that dictate what I could like the order of operation, the order of how we apply our products, right? Um, so first of all, we want to put on our skin after we cleanse and tone the active ingredient that we want to penetrate the deepest and do the most work at the deepest level. So during the day, that's generally our vitamin C. And at night, that's either vitamin C or retinol or maybe a, a glycolic acid or something, right? These come after. So once I put on the most active ingredient that I want to work the deepest, and remember this is, there's always exceptions. These are just my starting point. Next, I wanna do hyaluronic acid because that's gonna, I want that to penetrate next and hold on to that water and hydrate, right? And then I want to top it with my booster and my niacinamide because that's the most barrier supportive. So I'm going the most active that I want to penetrate the deepest. Then I want to go for that hydration and my humectant. And then we, we just level up with our barrier support and then we move on to our moisturizers, which are also barrier supportive. That is a great question. Now, the thing about niacinamide is that you actually can't really apply it wrong. And hyaluronic acid too. These you can't really apply wrong because they just will do their job when you put them on. However, if you put too much oil content on, it's gonna have uh, the water content have a harder time absorbing. So one caveat with hyaluronic acid that I do want to know. This is my fun esthetician fact. And yes, you can use both of these pressed around the eyes, but I do like to keep it around here. Um, and not move up onto the lid or here too much, um, you would have to spot, um, spot check. And you can apply these on your neck too. Great question, Rose. Hyaluronic acid and other humectants help other ingredients penetrate deeply because hydrated skin is more permeable and your products can, can penetrate deeply. But <laughs> when we're talking about really active ingredients and using things like retinol, if you put your hyaluronic acid on underneath it, 
it could make that absorb and really deep really fast. And that has actually has the potential to increase irritation if you have more sensitive skin or if you're not acclimated to an ingredient, which is why I like to actually add my hyaluronic acid on top of my most active products like my vitamin C and my retinol if I am using them together because it does increase permeability. And yes, both of these you can use two times a day. And that's why I love like the ultimate besties. You can use them day or night. You can use them with other products. You can pretty much put them on in any order dur during your serum routine. Um, and there is always like, we've been talking about that good, better, best when we're talking about order of operations and, and how we use things, but they're just really easy and you just press them on the skin. Damp skin is ideal with hyaluronic acid. So after cleansing, um, usually your skin's fine, but you could give your skin a little mist of hydration and then apply this and then move on to your niacinamide, okay? That was a really great question. I love when you all ask questions. Yes, 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 it's amazing. And I love you all sending stars. Thank you so much, that is wonderful. Yes, and the chart is great with orders. And we're working on um, making those charts even more specific um, and easy to understand. And I did see, yes, you can put them on your hands, you can put them on your neck, you can put them on your decollete. Your skincare is not just your face. Remember, and when we give recommendations on amounts to use, generally we're talking about the face and the neck, not just the face. And Laura, I love that you love to spritz that. So together, they can improve the look of lines, wrinkles, and those of you that had questions about redness and blotchiness and dryness, listen up. Okay, so how these improve lines and wrinkles, obviously when our skin is hydrated and has a strong barrier, it's going to improve the appearance of lines and wrinkles because lines and wrinkles look worse when our skin's dehydrated and has a compromised barrier. But, okay, drop hearts if you had, or leave a comment if the dryness, the redness, the blotchiness, the unevenness were your concern, okay? Let me know, because you're gonna wanna pay attention to this. When our skin is dehydrated, meaning it lacks water content, and remember hyaluronic acid holds onto a thousand times its weight in water, when our skin gets dehydrated, it actually becomes red, uneven, blotchy, irritated, uncomfortable, rough, our lines and wrinkles look worse, all of those things. So when our skin is hydrated, and we add in that vitamin E because vitamin E is very soothing and targets the look of redness and um, irritation. And when our barrier is compromised, so when we use products that are barrier supportive, that naturally helps improve the appearance of uneven skin tone, blotchiness, redness, dryness, roughness, all of those things that are very common concerns, especially as our skin ages and becomes more mature, especially post-menopause, all of that just happens more naturally in our skin because our skin becomes more dry as we age. And when it becomes more dry, which is a loss of oil, it loses water. So that's why I just, I absolutely love these as the ultimate besties where you have the hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, and the niacinamide. And then this has also other hydrators and amazing things too, but I'm kind of focusing on some of the key points. So when you have all of those concerns, you see how this helps so many concerns and why they're kind of like the ultimate besties, right? That was, and we're just getting started. Who learned something? Um, vitamin E is both. So vitamin E is something that we can apply topically and supplement. That is a really great question because again, um, and I'm actually gonna, I'm talking about this coming up, but oh yeah, that's my next part. Nutrition is kind of the ultimate skincare bestie. We cannot like, topicals is, is one part, but nutrition and what we intake is the next part. Like your, your skincare routine and your nutrition routine are really hand in hand and they're kind of the ultimate bestie. Like they just, they need each other. They need each other to get the ultimate results. Um, and Ellen, for amounts, it really depends on what the product is, but I, I do kind of like three to five drops to start, four-ish, and then um, per, and then I um, see how my skin feels. I use more at night a lot of times than during the day of some products too. I really, you, if you saw my last live on uh, last Monday in the VIP group, I was talking about how at night I literally just like 
glaze myself up like a donut at night. I mean, like I love all the skincare before bed. I will be a shiny glazed donut <laughs> with all of the layers. But skincare and nutrition really are those besties. And we're talking about how, and I wanna talk about now, cause that's kind of the next part of this. We were talking about our barrier and keeping our skin hydrated and all of those things, but there's a lot that we can do to support our barrier that goes beyond vitamin E and niacinamide. And some of the other, yes, water and greens and all of that. I'm gonna take a drink of water while we're talking about it. So some of the other pieces to that puzzle and your other barrier besties, that skin barrier that holds in that hydration that works so hard to keep the good stuff in and the bad stuff out. That is the niacinamide we already talked about, right? And the vitamin E, but it's also ceramides. Um, and those fatty acids and omegas, B vitamins, and that peptides or collagen, because collagen is that large molecule that's in our skin that gives it strength and structure, but it's also found throughout our body in a lot of our, the tissues in our body, and it is very abundant in our skin in a lot of ways, um, and it is a protein, and when you break it down, um, those are hydrolyzed collagen peptides. So if you take collagen, you can take it, but collagen is too large of a molecule to apply topically, and it's actually a very large molecule to intake, so that's why um, it's broken down into hydrolyzed collagen peptides. So the next component of that is the best combination of your diet, nutrition, a potential supplement to supplement um, collagen supporting um, ingredients, hyaluronic acid. I mean, if you look at this, who's tried our new supplement? But these ceramicides um, that are in here, I know this is backwards, I'm sorry. Um, those are barrier supportive. That's a plant ceramide and ceramides are a functional component of our barrier. It has the hyaluronic acid, the niacinamide, the, you know, the biotin, these are both B vitamins and that hydrolyzed collagen for the barrier support on the inside and to just kind of help support an overall um, routine um, and nutrition routine. But the ultimate besties, and I, this made me so happy when I saw this. Who loves our glycopeptide anti-wrinkle moisturizer? So we talked about the serums that are barrier supportive and lock in hydration, right? These are, this is the serum step that did it. But we always finish, we wanna finish our routine with a moisturizer. Um, a good moisturizer will really give that final layer of barrier support and lock in all of the stuff we just did. And a good moisturizer is very, very important. But the reason I love this so much is because it's individually packed with all of those barrier best friends. This has the hyaluronic acid to lock in that hydration, right? That we talked about here. This has the niacinamide that we talked about. There's niacinamide in here too. But this also is packed with those peptides and has a peptide ceramide blend that is really, really important to put, like really put that final level and layer on our skincare. And when we launched this, I was so happy because I was like, you have your hyaluronic acid and hyaluronic acid and ceramides and that the ceramicides and you go down the list and it's the perfect pair because you have the same things that you can do from an inside out approach to your routine. And so that's kind of that, that addition when you, we talked about these in our serum step, this is the other way and just to take it to that next level with those ingredients as well that are barrier supportive and hydrating. And again, that's how it's gonna target the lines and wrinkles, the redness, the blotchiness, you know, the dryness and dehydration, the uneven skin tone. Oh, we have another winner, Renita. You won the niacinamide booster, yay. I am, Lindsay, I'm so excited explaining this. I'm a difference. Um, I see how when we take the time in our skincare routine, it makes a difference, not just in how we look, but it's, it's how we feel. It's our confidence, that's what matters. I know, I think I froze for a minute. Let me know if I'm back. Am I back, am I back, am I back? Okay, so I want each and every one of you to feel so super confident every single day in your own skin. That's why I'm passionate about teaching this. And when you all 
um, get to learn these things and understand a little bit more about your products, it makes them easier to use and it just helps us feel super confident every single day. And that's really what I'm here to do. I'm all about helping you all feel confident every single day. So upper lip care, these can actually be used around the lips too. Um, so yes, this type of stuff around the lips as well. Um, and I also do like using our eye gel around the lips also. But this cream is wonderful. And again, this is packed with all of those besties and it's kind of that final level of that, that barrier support that we can do. Um, but I, well, that's actually not true. It's not the final level. <laughs> Gina's here, yay! The final level of barrier support would be our oils because fatty acids, fatty acids are a, a functional part of that barrier too. And so these are really a great bestie pair because argan oil is packed with fatty acids, those omegas and vitamin E. And this is packed, the rose hip is packed with vitamins A, C and E. So if you're feeling very dry, very red, very blotchy, and you want an, an additional boost of hydration and barrier support, you wanna just finish with a little bit of oils. I'm so sorry I froze. I know Gina, the oils are so good. The oils are so, so good. And I, um, just so you know, if you wanna learn all about oils, make sure you join our VIP group because in a couple of weeks, I'm actually gonna be doing a live talking all about skin oils. So I'm not gonna go into that in super detail here because I have another live coming up in two weeks in the VIP group where I'm gonna be talking about all about the oils, all, all about it, how to use, why they're cool, um, why, you know, how they can benefit your, your routine and your skin and your hair and your body in so many ways. Um, and they are, they're, um, you know, this is, you know, pure pressed argan oil. It's um, organic, it's amazing. Um, Rose hip is just the, the most incredible booster, awesome oil too. And I will be talking about the eye gel a little bit too, Sally. So that is coming up. All right, next. <laughs> Uh, we have, and we talked so much about those besties and pairs and I have so much to get into. See, this is why this is gonna have, yes, uh, Lori, I like oils as a last step personally, but again, I'll talk about kind of all of those things in my um, All About Oils live that I'm gonna do in a couple weeks, because again, there are some exceptions to that. Now, um, let's talk about the lines and wrinkles bestie combo. So I saw a bunch of you say crepiness and lines and wrinkles were um, a concern of yours. So now we're going to talk about some of those um, product combinations and ingredient combinations that are ideal. And thank you all for sharing. Like, comment, share, 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 share um, for not just for your chance to win stuff, but I love when you all share. I love when we can get as many people on these lives because I just love, you know, teaching as many people as possible. So let's talk about those lines and wrinkles. Now, drop in the comments here what you think kind of the ultimate line battling, boosting, not boosting. Yeah, well, I guess line, you know, the line battling ingredient. What's kind of the most, it is the most researched ingredient out there, the most proven ingredient out there. I talk about it a lot, but there's also a lot of rules with it. So what ingredient do you think I am talking about? Oh, and I do see sunscreen. That's actually the most line preventing one for sure, but it's not sunscreen. <laughs> That's how we keep them away for sure. Yes, it is retinol. So retinol, but retinol has some rules and there's a lot of things that we cannot use with our retinol. And, but retinol really is the most clinically studied and proven ingredient or retinoids as a category. It is vitamin A. So retinol um, is a derivative of vitamin A. So when we're talking about retinoids, it's topical vitamin A. Um, who knew that? But it is, it's smooth skin. It not only targets lines and wrinkles, but those of you that had concerns about dark spots, if you had concerns about pores, if you have concerns about breakouts, um, it literally is one of those ingredients that tackles pretty much every skin, can, a lot of those skin concerns that we have, it has a positive impact on the appearance of all of those, but we know that it can be drying and it can make our skin more sensitive and maybe red. And so we want to pair it with things that are going to help 
maybe diminish some of those possible things that can happen when we use it because it's such an amazing ingredient when we can integrate it into our routine, right? Oh, thank you. I feel hydrated. Um, I'm a little, I get a little warm when I do these. And so I get a little extra glow in my office <laughs> for sure um, when I am live. Yes, and Tina, the retinol sandwich is a, is a great way to tackle that, where we sandwich our retinol in between two moisturizers. That's a really great way to buffer it and help diminish the potential for irritation. But niacinamide and retinol, I'm, I'm telling you, we're going to be talking about niacinamide all day, which is why we're giving it away, and it is the ultimate bestie. Niacinamide is an incredible support to a routine with retinol an incredible support. Like I honestly, as an esthetician, am like, if you are using retinol, you need to be using a niacinamide product in conjunction with it. This is 10% niacinamide. Um, it's a true niacinamide booster, but it's also hydrating. But what will happen when we use retinol and how it works to improve the appearance of all those concerns is that when it does that, when our skin, it seems kind of counterintuitive, but when our skin gets dry and irritated and all those things potential with retinol, um, it actually means it's doing its job oddly enough. So we want to make sure our skin is hydrated and all of that, but niacinamide being soothing and barrier supportive can really help the dimin diminish the potential for irritation. But this is also a combination that helps battle the appearance of acne and breakouts. So if you have issues with breakouts, this is an incredible combination for you. Um, pore size, this is an incredible combination because they are both pore refining. Like they are such an incredible combination for tackling concerns. Dark spots, a lot of people don't know that niacinamide is incredible for tackling dark spots. And a lot of people don't know that retinol is too. Like this is actually an amazing combination for that. But when we're talking specifically about lines and wrinkles, the number one product to help with that really is a retinol if you can use it. And this combination literally just takes it to the next level, helps be barrier supportive and helps to diminish the potential for irritation. Um, and one other thing is that because we use retinol at night and not during the day, it's a perfect evening complement to your vitamin C routine during the day. That's one thing that I wanna kind of say in this conversation about ingredient and product besties. It's not just the ingredients and products you use at the same time, it's how they work and support your routine as a whole. So amazing day routine, amazing night routine. And together, cause I did say when I asked about lines and wrinkles, vitamin C actually works very well to improve the appearance of lines and wrinkles. But this is your daytime superstar and this is your nighttime superstar. And so this combination, day and night, or really this, let's do this, you know, the ultimate bestie combo for tackling the appearance of those lines and wrinkles, along with our moisturizer and keeping our skin hydrated. Um, and yeah, it's really like brightening, smoothing, <laughs> um, you know, firming, all of those things, all of those things. Now, Let's do a little ingredient spotlight. Who wants to do a super ingredient spotlight? I take, I mean, I feel like I need my own skincare game show. We did that in the VIP group too, and it was so much fun, but I love asking you all questions. So we know that this has our retinol. This is the Active Firm and Lift Serum. And I love this formulation so much because it has a, not just retinol, but it has another really cool ingredient in here. Who knows what it is? It says it on the bottle, if you can see it. So what is the other really amazing ingredient in this. Um, so no, the, uh, and I see that question about only using retinol with the booster at night. I just love this combo. So this is a combo that I love, but I do use this during the day. I use this all the time, but this is kind of the dynamic duo for evening. So what is, what's the other ingredient here? So we're doing a super ingredient spotlight for this product. It starts with a B, it does. <laughs> It is Bacuchiol. So Bacuchiol is really trending in skincare. And what I love is that here at GoPure, we've been using these ingredients for so long. And now they're all of a sudden trending and everyone's finding out, oh wait, that's really cool. And we should be using it too. So Bacuchiol is actually a natural alternative to retinol that works very, very similarly to retinol. And when we are talking about targeting skin concerns, whether it be lines and wrinkles or dark spots, 
or our barrier support or whatever it is. It's never just like a one, you know, one thing's going to do the trick. That's not how it works, right? It's we want, we target these issues from multiple ways, day and night. And that's what skincare products should do too. And so when you combine retinol, and this is a granactive retinol, so it's less prone to irritation and works even better. But when you pair that with Bacuchiol, they really are besties because they work similarly, but not the same. And so they target lines and wrinkles in a similar but different way to really amplify those results. It's a very, very cool combination. Um, and Bacuchiol is non-irritating. So it's a natural alternative. It is comes from a plant and um, it's non-irritating. So you are able to boost the effectiveness of that retinol in a way that is also not going to increase any potential for irritation. It's very, very, very neat. Um, and I love it. So um, I, it's just... I love that combination in this product in particular. Okay, who has questions on that? Because we're gonna get into one of my, um, we're gonna get into a little pore refining because we just talked about how this combo is pore refining and improves the appearance of pores. Let me see if we have any questions before I move on to our next one while I take a sip. Rose, that's great. Crepey and saggy skin. Um, so, Retinol and Bacuchiol, typically when a product will target lines and wrinkles, it will also target crepiness. And I'm gonna give a little side note on this. So um, when we talk about lines and wrinkles, we're typically talking about a loss of collagen or damage to collagen for those deeper lines and wrinkles that happen as we age and happen as a result of photo damage, right? And so our collagen gives the structure in our skin and as we age, we produce it less, it becomes damaged and disorganized. Crepiness is a slack in the skin and kind of that loss of firmness. That comes more with a loss of elastin, but elastin is collagen's partner in our skin. So elastin gives our skin stretch and allows it to bounce back. And as we age, we naturally lose that in our skin and the sun damages our elastin as much as collagen. But luckily, when we are doing things in our skincare routine that have a positive impact um, on our body's ability to um, produce that collagen, um, we are also having a positive impact on elastin. So whenever we're saying like, we're gonna target lines and wrinkles, we're also really targeting sagginess and crepiness and that slackness in the skin. And the superstars for that really are um, things like retinol and bacuchiol, glycolic acid, vitamin C, um, peptides and hyaluronic acid. So those are kind of the besties when you are talking about targeting lines and wrinkles and crepiness and sagging skin, um, you know, retinol and retinol alternatives. So that, that vitamin A, glycolic acid and alpha hydroxy acids, vitamin C, peptides, and hyaluronic acid. Okay. And congratulations, Alexa. Alexis, sorry, Alexis stumped just one. Congratulations. Um, I, okay. <laughs> so that's a trick question. That's a hard question, Joy. So Jolie, um, Mm, which do you apply first? <laughs> well, how sensitive is your skin? How acclimated are you to retinol? It's not that straightforward. There's a lot of ways to utilize retinol in your routine. Out the gate, the main thing you wanna do when applying retinol is cleanse and tone your skin. We're not using exfoliants on nights we use retinol. We allow our skin to fully dry. Our skin should be dry. We use a pea-sized amount applied around the face and neck. We give that a few minutes and then we move on with barrier support, moisturizers, any uh, eye care, any of those things. However, if you're sensitive, if you're acclimating to retinol, all of those, there's ways where we can sandwich it, we can put it on, you know, after our moisturizer. Basically, the more you buffer it, the later you put it on in your routine with a lot of things, especially with moisturizers, the less potential for irritation that you have, the closer it is to your skin and the beginning of your skincare routine, the deeper it's gonna penetrate. But if you have sensitive skin or are just getting used to it, you could have more potential for dryness and irritation. Um, that's kind of the, the quick version of how we apply it and in what order. Um, but again, 
Um, I actually have um, a video all about retinol up in our VIP group, so make sure you join that. And yes, we do have the Originals Retinol Serum, and we also have the Retinol Moisturizer. There's a lot of different options for including retinol into your routine, for sure, for sure. All right, so let's move on to poor refining besties. Oh gosh, look who we have here again, our ultimate poor refining superstar because it's also balancing um, for our oil and it helps refine the appearance and look of pores because technically you cannot shrink a pore. You can't like physically make your pores shrink, but we can actually reduce the appearance of them and how they look by having a routine that helps keep our skin exfoliated and keep our oil balanced. And base and pore size generally um, is related to our skin type and how much oil is in our skin naturally based on our skin type. And then how we care for our skin, how we keep it exfoliated and keeping our pores clear of congestion from dirt, debris, bacteria, environmental stressors, all of that stuff. So yes, join the VIP group. Join the VIP group because it is so much fun and I do so many lives and we do giveaways in there. You ask people, ask questions, they can they contribute. It's a really amazing community. So if you're not in there, you have to join the VIP group for sure. So the duo that is very um, poor refining that I love is salicylic acid. Sometimes you will see it as BHA. So BHA stands for beta hydroxy acid. Um, and or salicylic acid, they are the same thing. It's just different words for the same thing, BHA or salicylic acid. Now, what's really cool about salicylic acid and why it is refining and the microdermabrasion um, scrub has salicylic acid, but it also does have glycolic and lactic acid, which help keep the skin exfoliated in a safe scrub version. Salicylic acid actually um, can absorb through oil. It is oil loving, which is one of the reasons how salicylic acid actually gets into our pores, helps exfoliate inside of our pores. So if our pore is like this under our skin, salicylic acid actually can go inside our pore, help exfoliate inside the pore and keep it free of excess debris and congestion that makes our pores look larger. And actually that's what clogs them and contributes a lot to those breakouts that we have. Yes, and the scrub lasts forever and you need a teeny tiny amount. So what you can do is after cleansing, you use the scrub, but I like if you're really wanting to have a pore refining combo, you let it sit on the skin for a few minutes, apply it like a mask and massage it in and let it set. And that will help those alpha and beta hydroxy acids penetrate, do their job, do that exfoliating on the surface and in the pore, and then, um, you rinse it off and then you tone the skin and then you move on with your serums and wherever in your serums routine you add your niacinamide. And that has how they both work to be, um, because salicylic acid can also be balancing, it's anti-inflammatory, um, it's hydrating, it's really amazing. And together, um, they really are that combo that tackles not only pore size, but those breakouts and that excess shine. Who here deals with excess shine? Because a lot of times if you deal with pore size, you're probably dealing with breakouts potentially and excess shine and oiliness, right? Those, those three kind of go hand in hand. Um, can you put a hot cloth over it? Um, you could. I avoid the getting the skin too, too hot um, because we don't want it to be drying. Um, but you could absolutely do it if you wanted to keep the skin warm and moist. You could absolutely do that. But one of the really cool things about salicylic acid is that it is um, oil loving. So it does a very good job of penetrating. Um, and then you massage it off and you are really just exfoliating the skin in multiple ways in a way that is gentle. What I will say is that we wanna let the product do the work and we wanna massage. We don't wanna like scrub. I wish we could come up with a different word generally in the world of skincare for scrub because I think when we hear the word scrub, we're like, oh, I'm gonna scrub and I'm gonna do a good job of exfoliating and we don't wanna be damaging on our barrier. Yes, there are so many options. Um, but we don't wanna be damaging on our barrier. Um, we wanna massage it and we just wanna let the product do its work with those um, 
exfoliating acids and that scrub. And then in combination with niacinamide, it really is that pore refining um, combination that's amazing. And we do actually now on the site have a pore refining um, set that includes our toner as well. Um, it's really, um, and a, a couple other things and it's amazing. All right. I have about 15 minutes left. So let's, let's keep, yes, let's keep moving. And let's let, ask, if you have any other questions, ask, and, or we're gonna, we're gonna move on to some brightening besties. All right, I'm staying hydrated, committed to being a hydrated esthetician here. All right, brightening besties, dark spots, and all of those things. So what's our what's one of our dark spot besties? And here's the thing, I've been getting a lot of questions, especially on TikTok. And if you don't, if follow, if you are on TikTok, follow us on TikTok. I do a lot of education. I do about five TikToks a week. And I do a lot of education and I answer questions over there and I can even like make a video for you over there. So make sure you follow there. But I've been talking a lot about dark spots and hyperpigmentation because hyperpigmentation is one of those things where it's not just one superstar. We have our, our besties, our skincare besties and combinations that really do target the appearance of dark spots and hyperpigmentation, but there are multiple forms of hyperpigmentation that are caused from sun damage and the accumulation of sun damage throughout our life, um, as well as hormonal changes trigger hyperpigmentation and then damage to our skin. Those are the main things is that the post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation from damage that, and it's very common with uh, skin that has battled breakouts, um, hormonal changes like melasma, and then just sun damage as we age in that cumulative sun damage. So it's not really like one thing that's gonna be the trick. Yeah, Ellen, hyperpigmentation, and this is why it's so many people's nemesis, because the timeline to treat hyperpigmentation is probably one of the longest because of how you actually have to go about treating it, and you have to be so good with your sun care. You have to be so, so good with your sun care. And depending on what caused it and the person individually, what works for one person doesn't always work the same for other people. And it requires patience and consistency. And one thing that people do not know with hyperpigmentation is that, and dark spots, is that sometimes it actually looks like it's getting worse before it gets better because the spots aren't as superficial as we think. We'll see a spot on our face. Like I have one here that I work on. And it's a little, they're a little deeper in our skin than we think. And they actually, it actually has to work towards the surface of the skin sometimes before it can resolve, which can make it appear worse. They are really everyone's, they're a total pain in the butt. They are. And so that's why it takes um, thoughtful skincare and products and ingredients that work together. Um, that's why besties and our product and ingredient besties, when we're targeting hyperpigmentation, really, really matter. So we do have, um, and here at GoPure, we have like our spot corrector pen that has multiple ingredients that target dark spots in different ways. And that's why it's a targeted treatment. However, it does take, can take a little bit longer and I've had amazing results with it. Um, but what works for one person doesn't always work with, uh, for the next person. That's why we're always trying to come up with different products and options here. Um, and then, so the difference between a freckle and a dark spot, that is a great question. They're kind of the same thing, but kind of not. It depends on um, a lot of factors, but I have three boys. So I have three boys um, and they have the cutest freckles. They're very fair like me. And they get the, and in the summer, they just get the perfect little freckly mask across their nose and they're so adorable. Well, now they're teenagers, but I still think they're adorable. But again, it's coming out in the sun when they've had more sun and when there's more heat. So dark spots and freckles are still spots of melanin that are more apparent. We have a specific cell and th that produces melanin. 
So we have um, these melanocytes that produce melanosomes and they are it's like the, they actually make melanin in the skin and melanin is what gives our skin color and it's meant to protect us. However, <laughs> when we uh, get a little too much sun and it's cumulative, um, they just know I'm supposed to produce melanin, I'm gonna do this job. And they get a little too excited about doing their job and once they get going, they're very hard to get to calm down. That's basically it. So dark spots are just excess melanin in the skin caused from those cells producing it. So that's why we also have to target it in a lot of different ways, um, both to try and get them to calm down a little bit and also to work on what is there and to prevent it. But prevention is so important. And there are some ingredients out there that target hyperpigmentation um, like hydroquinone that we do not use here at GoPure because they're actually quite problematic. Um, they can accumulate in your organs actually, like hydroquinone can actually accumulate in the liver and kidneys. You can only use it for a certain amount of time. It's very potent. I am not a fan of it because I think it um, for a while was very overused, but it can actually make hyperpigmentation worse too and we don't want that. Um, so, all right. So some of our favorite besties for, that was our little lesson. <laughs> on hyperpigmentation um, and dark spots and why we need those besties, right? But vitamin C, ferulic acid, and vitamin E are very important to use together. And there's a lot of different forms of vitamin C. Vitamin C is not just like vitamin C. Um, vitamin, there's a lot of different versions of vitamin C and they actually do work differently too. Some are water loving, some are oil loving, some, um, are very unstable. Here at GoPure, we use more stable forms of vitamin C that are less prone to irritation. And the sodium ascorbyl phosphate that we have in this actually is great for breakout and acne prone skin too and sensitive skin, which I love. This also has ferulic acid, which helps keep it stable um, because those antioxidants are very excited. Yes, vitamin C is brightening patients. So that's the thing is that vitamin C will brighten um, and they can help target the appearance of dark spots. But in combination, you really wanna see that, see how it says vitamin C and ferulic acid? That is a combination that you really want with your vitamin C. They are besties. Um, those, those are kind of synonymous. Um, brightening um, sometimes and lightening can be synonymous, but you have to be really careful when you're talking about lightening because that can mean a lot of different things. And that's a great thing. When you're talking about lightening the skin, you're not always talking about targeting the appearance of dark spots. And the, the, the reason for that is, is that when an ingredient is lightening, you're making a claim about what it can do um, on a cellular level, but you also have to be careful because true lightening ingredients are not safe, well, I wanna say safe, but they um, can, when you say something is lightening, it can actually not be good for anybody with medium to deep skin tones because it actually can impact the natural melanin in their skin. And we don't want that. So because remember we have our natural level of melanin that we all have in our skin. And then we have any of the extra stuff that happens from sun exposure, trauma, or hormones. So that's what I wanna say is that ingredients that are lightening, um, I don't like to use that word because we here, like our vitamin C is safe for all skin tones. We actually, where did that go? Where'd my nice, oh, here it is. We have an algae in our niacinamide that targets the appearance of dark spots, but is safe for deeper skin tones. It's not going to damage the natural melanin that is in our skin. Um, same thing with the spot pen. That is something that is an important to distinguish. And I'm glad that you brought that up. Um, now, um, vitamin E is the next component to this when we're targeting dark spots. So we have our vitamin C and ferulic acid, but we want vitamin E too. And this is our vitamin E pack. This has vitamin E in it, but we, we wanna really make sure we have a lot of that vitamin E because um, vitamin E boosts the production of, uh, vitamin C boosts the production of vitamin E and together they improve each other's efficacy. So vitamin C and E and ferulic acid actually exponentially make each other work better and more stable. Okay, so that's why vitamin C and E and ferulic acid are such an important combination because they make each other work exponentially better and um, vitamin C uh, is stabilized by ferulic acid and vitamin E, but um, vitamin E also helps soothe the skin. So 
Um, and actually in that combination, it can be four to eight times more effective. So do you see how that works together? So vitamin C is great as a brightening ingredient. It's amazing for antioxidant power. It's amazing for targeting dark spots. However, together, it's exponential. Oh, I see we have another winner, but I didn't see who won. We have so many, so many comments and questions coming through. Yes. Um, yes. And our products are made here in the United States and you can use it on, on the hands. Absolutely. So what, and I love putting my vitamin C products and, um, and all of that, my sunscreen, all of those things on my hands. Absolutely. The antioxidants, all of the stuff for sure. So when we're targeting the look of hyperpigmentation, um, you know, we really want to tackle it from all levels. And I wanted to, oh, vitamin, um, glycolic acid is like the bonus buddy. So all these combinations have like a bonus buddy. And I want to take a side note for glycolic acid for dark spots. Now, this is kind of the, this is the daytime, right? The, the vitamin C, the antioxidants, all that. That's our daytime bestie. And this is the combination for targeting dark spots during the day. The vitamin C, ferulic acid, and vitamin E. At night, we, I already talked about how retinol does. But glycolic acid for integrating something into your routine at a different time. So not during the day, I like this at night and on nights when I'm not using retinol. But glycolic acid is very, very effective at targeting the appearance of dark spots as well. So even integrating it in one night a week, um, I really do recommend it if dark spots are a concern of yours. And it is in the microdermabrasion, but I absolutely love the anti-wrinkle sheet mask as a weekly glycolic acid boost for targeting the appearance of, um, because vitamin C and glycolic acid have a synergy together as well, even when they're not being used at the exact same time, when we are specifically, specifically targeting the look of dark spots. Um, and there is another ingredient called Centella Asiatica, and you'll just see it as Centella, um, and sometimes it is listed as go-to cola. It is a natural plant extract, and that is another ingredient that works well with vitamin C and glycolic acid that again exponentially boosts the efficacy. Um, and actually when you have centella, vitamin C and glycolic acid together, you have a four time boost in the um, in, in improving the look of lines and wrinkles. It's really cool. It's really great combo. Oh my goodness. Ah, I've gone through so many and I saw this is why this is going to be a multi part series. So I did want to touch on, because we had questions about eyes, I want to make sure that I talk about this really, really quickly. Eye care, eye care, eye care. And ingredients that are besties for around our eyes. So vitamin E and peptides are amazing around the eyes. I love, when we already talked about vitamin E, I love vitamin E around the eyes. It is amazing um, for making sure the area is nourished and improves the, the look of dark circles. Um, and then, the, but the real combination that I love for around the eyes, for firming, depuffing, and improving the appearance of dark spots because the eye area is so, it, it is, it's challenging too because the skin is very thin. Um, it is naturally much more fragile, but not just externally, like everything that's going on underneath is actually very fragile from the collagen to the blood vessels and all of those things, right? And yes, I love using it on the upper lip as well, but you have to make sure you're not using too little product or too much product. And what, again, it depends on the person, all of that. So a combination that I really love for around the eyes is green tea and caffeine. And there is caffeine in green tea, that antioxidant punch, but caffeine can also help um, with that, the appearance of those, those dark spots and that puffiness. The antioxidant capability is really important around the eye and then peptides. Peptides are, remember that the broken down version of collagen. So co when you string uh, peptides together, it makes collagen. And when you combine your peptides, your vitamin E, um, and your green tea and caffeine, you really have a group of ingredients that in concert tackle so many of those different concerns around the eye area. And I love this eye gel because it is very lightweight and it pairs well with the other products but it works really well around the lips too. And I have seen a lot of questions about this. So I did wanna touch on how to use the eye gel. I think some people might be using a little too much of it. And as an esthetician and beauty expert, one of the things I see is a lot of people use a lot of product. 
During the day, we don't want to overdo it. So just a small amount between our fingers and it feels so good to put on. Secretly, I'm just doing this because I really want to put on my eye gel. <laughs> but we tap it on little bits at a time and you might even want to do light layers. So around the eye area, and if this works, this is for concealer too. When we're doing products around the eye area, you don't necessarily take a bunch and slather it on. You actually want to do thin layers. Let it absorb because what will happen is that how absorption works around the eyes is that if you put too much on and it doesn't have enough time to absorb, it's going to sit superficially and it can actually feel like the area, it like there's too much product or it can feel dry. So you actually want to use thin layers because you can always put more on and do thin layers around the eye area and press it on because I'll get a little bit on and I'm like, okay, maybe I want a little bit more, little bit more here, pressed around, just little bits at a time. Less is more. Our skin can only absorb so much at one time and it's very cooling. And that caffeine, the green tea, the vitamin E and those peptides just work to tackle multiple concerns around the eye area. Um, but one thing with the green tea and the caffeine is that they have, um, they really drive each other's antioxidant power too. So that's why that combination is really powerful is that it they actually, again, it's like it will work this much by itself, but if you pair it with this, you get exponential results. And that's what we've been kind of talking about today too. So I wanna read a list. So vitamin A on its own can, double uh, the uh, like the look, improve the look of the firmness and diminish fine lines. So I'm gonna talk about fine lines right now. I wanna throw some statistics, statistics at you before we close out the show. And I wanna talk about just improving the look of fine lines um, and firmer skin. So vitamin A on its own will help improve it by two times. Vitamin C on its own can help improve it by two times. Vitamin E, two times. Centella, two times. Glycolic acid, two times. Some of my faves, right? If you combine centella and vitamin C, three times. Centella, vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, three times boosted. Centella, this is uh, glycolic acid, three times. Centella, vitamin C, glycolic acid, four times. Vitamin C and E, four times. Vitamin A, uh, vitamin C, E, and ferulic acid, eight times. So that is how you get <laughs> That's why the combinations matter because it's not just like a little bit more. It really, really starts increasing and increasing and increasing. Um, and it really makes a difference when you either have a product that's formulated with them together or you find ways to work them in combination. Yeah, and it, you know what? That's the thing with the eye area too, Nancy, is that it's very easy to use too much but those changes can be very, very subtle. So another thing that can really help because this is a gel base and it's hydrating. Um, I do like the skin maybe a little bit damp underneath and just use little bits at a time and layer. And if you are wearing makeup, especially during the day, sometimes I will press a little bit just on top on the outer corner because sometimes even our makeup products as they dry down can feel drying on the skin. You can also press a little rose hip or I love rosehip during the day and vitamin E at night. After I finish my routine, just take like not a drop. It, that would be a lot. Even just a little piece of a drop to finish my routine pressed around the eyes and around the lips to really seal all of that in and get that additional boost of those vitamins. Yes. Okay. So we have reached the end of our show today. We had so many winners. Remember, we are going to have a replay winner. So, um... Yes, um, that is a great point, Jill. It, it does just um, stay more hydrated when you do use those oils a lot of times. So congratulations, Kathy Leak, you are our final live winner. However, we are absolutely gonna be choosing a replay watcher. Um, and I appreciate all of you on today. This was amazing. We got through a lot of information. However, I think it's good information. Oh, on TikTok, you just go to, it's Go Pure Beauty on TikTok. So just at Go Pure Beauty, you can search us. Even if you search the hashtag Go Pure, a bunch of videos should pop up and you should be able to find us and find me and all of the things we do on there. Make sure that you join our VIP community if you are not already in there. I go live 
weekly in there, but I'm always in there answering questions. And it's a really great space and community that is very wonderful and supportive. And we have all sorts of information. Yes, Ellen, it's a great rewatch too. Oh, good. They dropped the direct link in there for our TikTok. Awesome. But we are on Instagram as well. So follow us on all of the spaces. Thank you so much for joining me today. Congratulations to our winners. Um, and let us know what other topics you would like me to cover because I love doing these educational lives. They're so much fun for me. And I want to teach what you want to learn. So drop in the comments any ideas, anything that you want me to talk about. It can be as specific or as broad as possible. Um, but absolutely, we love um, we love being able to share with you all here at GoPure and teach you what you want to know. So thank you again for participating. Congratulations to our winners. And this was wonderful. Um, and have a lovely week. Bye.